and good morning. Right, this morning we are in St. Patrick's Roman Catholic Cemetery in Leytonstone, East London. And uh, the person we are looking for today is Blakey from On The Buses, Stephen Lewis. Uh, Stephen Lewis, he was uh, one of my favourite, if not my favourite characters out of On The Buses. But when I did my research on him, I didn't realise um, how many other things he'd been in. Obviously, I couldn't list them all because I try and keep these videos as short as possible. But what I'll do is I'll have a little wander around because this cemetery, as I said in the last video, is absolutely enormous. Um, it took me quite a while to find this. I did have to look up on the internet a few times to see if I could get any landmarks. But the landmarks appear to have changed because I have now found his final resting place. But um, the landmarks, the backdrop, is slightly different to how it looked in the pictures. But I managed to find it. So what I'll do is I'll have a quick wander around this new section. And um, while I'm doing that, uh, I'll show you a few of the headstones while I'll tell you a little bit about Stephen Lewis. Lewis was born at All Saints Maternity Hospital in Poplar, London, on the 17th of December, 1926. He worked as a bricklayer, electrician's mate and carpenter and also joined the Merchant Navy before turning to acting. He was persuaded to go to a performance by the theatre workshop under its director, Joan Littlewood. It was common after these performances to invite members of the audience to meet the cast. He was invited to an audition, landing the part and left the sea to become a member of the company. Lewis made his West End Theatre debut with a transfer of Brendan Behan's The Hostage in 1958. In 1960, he wrote Sparer's Can't Sing with the Theatre Workshop, which was made into the film Sparrow's Can't Sing in 1963, starring Barbara Windsor, Roy Kinnear and Lewis himself, as well as his future On The Buses co-star Bob Grant. He used the surname Cato in his early stage career, but after writing Sparrow's Can't Sing, he was urged by his agent to use his real name. From 1969, Lewis starred in his best remembered role as the gruff Inspector Blakey in the British sitcom On The Buses, which ran for 74 episodes and spawned three films, On The Buses, 1971, Mutiny On The Buses, 1972, and Holiday on the Buses, 1973. He co-wrote 12 episodes with fellow star Bob Grant. Here, here. Huh? The nurse is out. You'll have to wait. Oh, no. Oh, well, I want a little bit of liniment to rub on my hand. Good. I'll use me pass key. Oh, stop it. Oh, you're a sexy beast. Hey. Lewis was made up to look much older than his actual age with heavy makeup. He was only 42 when the program began. A spin off series, Don't Drink the Water, 1974 to 1975, ran for two series. This featured Blakey retiring to Spain with his sister, Dorothy, played by Pat Coombs. In the 1990s, Blakey appeared regularly on Jim Davison's version of The Generation Game on BBC One. In addition, Lewis played a coach driver with very similar char characteristics to Blakey in a 2000 edition of ITV's 1970s set sitcom, The Grimleys. He also appeared in Manhunt in a rare villainous role. He and Bob Grant starred in a TV show called Jug Brothers in 1970, but this never got past the pilot episode. The films in which Lewis acted included a Prize of Arms, 1962, Sparrows Can't Sing, 1963, which he also wrote, Negatives, 1968, Staircase, 1969, with Richard Burton and Rex Harrison, Some Will, Some Won't, 1969, The Magnificent Seven, Deadly Sins, 1971, 
the last remake of Bogest 1977, Personal Services and Out of Order, both in 1987, and The Craze in 1990. He also appeared in two British sex comedies, Adventures of a Taxi Driver in 1975 and Adventures of a Plumber's Mate in 1978. In 1988, he took on one of his longest-running roles playing Clem Smiler Hemingway in the BBC sitcom Last of the Summer Wine. The character appeared in many episodes for 17 years until ill health forced Lewis to leave the series in 2007. In 1996, Lewis played Harry Lambert, the signalman, in the BBC pilot of sitcom O oh, Dr. Beeching, which ran for two further series. He appeared as a guest in sitcoms such as One Foot in the Grave, 2.4 Children, Father Dear Father and The Grimleys. He also played the character of Alf, a comedy writer, in the second series of The All New Alexi Sale Show in 1995. Sadly, Lewis died at the age of 88 of cancer on the 12th of August 2015 in a nursing home in Wanstead, London, where his sister, Connie also resided. Yeah, Stephen Lewis. I didn't know he'd been in so much. I never knew he was in uh, Last of Summer Wine. Mind you, I didn't used to watch Last of Summer Wine. I've always known him from on the buses. But we are really close to his uh, final resting place, so we'll go and have a look at that together right now. Right, it should be just down here. Yeah, I mean, I can um, understand the uh, programme on the buses. I used to love that and uh, I was a bus driver myself for 25 years so I can uh, kind of share some stories about that but obviously we're not here to do that we are here to see the final resting place of Stephen Lewis and here it is In loving memory of Stephen Blakey Lewis, actor and writer, born 17th of December 1926, he boarded the last bus to the cemetery gates on the 12th of August 2015, greatly missed by his family and fans. It's actually a really nicely cared for grave. Could do some new flowers on there though. Unfortunately, I haven't got any with me. But another great one has left us. He made that program for me on the buses. Yes, well, it's the end of another great actor who went way too soon. I wish I'd made some more modern versions of on the buses, some more up-to-date ones. But um, unfortunately, I think it's only Olive. I think Olive was the last last one of them. I think they'd all passed in the end. And uh, unfortunately, she herself has now sadly passed. So there are none of them left. But anyway, that is it from me, Darren, from St. Patrick's Roman Catholic Cemetery in Leytonstone, East London. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified of any future videos. So thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. So bye-bye for now.